Sure. So, you know, Durham really strives to be a very welcoming community. Uh, we embrace all people from wherever they are from. And um, uh, several issues have come up over the last six months or so that um, have caused local government to take some time to think about. Uh, one is a, an historic mural at the Durham Post Office, uh, which dates to approximately 1959. And it um, shows about 13 panels um, of Durham's history. And one of them depicts a Native American uh, crouching behind a, a rock with a torch, getting ready to um, move in on and torch a garrison home at that time. Uh, that um, depiction um, is actually in a historical event that took place uh, called the Oyster River Massacre as part of the French and Indian War. And um, it's being uh, viewed by uh, many in the community as uh, racist or um, an inappropriate depiction of Native Americans. And so Durham has uh, made contact with the Postal Service and also the New Hampshire Commission on Native American Affairs to look at that mural and to try to take steps to place it into, con into context. There have been some who've advocated um, eliminating the mural altogether. The town's position has not been that, but rather to uh, create a dialogue around it and to create context for it, uh, to preserve the history, but to celebrate the full history of that event. Um, more recently, um, a Durham resident, uh, Neil Ferris, uh, came to uh, one of our town council meetings and um, urged the council to um, locally adopt in, uh, a new day called Indigenous Peoples Day instead of Columbus Day. He views um, uh, the discovery of this continent by Christopher Columbus as prompting a series of very negative events that had negative consequences for Native Americans. And he feels um, renaming it Indigenous Peoples Day would be a better solution or outcome. Uh, this morning we had a two-hour meeting of our Human Rights Commission where we discussed this in, in some detail. And I think the consensus of our commission, um, uh, of which I'm a member, was uh, not to move in that direction precisely, but rather to find a new day that we consider calling Indigenous Peoples Day or possibly a, um, a Native American Day to celebrate the history and the accomplishments and the contributions of Native Americans to this great country. Um, we felt that to the extent there are those who want to have further conversation about whether Columbus Day should be a holiday or not, that that should be a separate conversation that can be addressed um, by people more informed than, than we are informed. So um, those two topics are um, taking some um, uh, thought here in Durham.